Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Doctor's Corner. Today we are going to discuss about Pepe's circuit. Okay, it can also be pronounced as Pep circuit. It is also known as medial limbic circuit. Basically, this is a neuronal circuit for the control of emotional expression. Okay, so it was first uh, discovered by neuroscientist James Pepe's. Okay, James Pepe's in the year 1930. Seven. Okay. So according to him, so it is a circuit which is connecting the hypothalamus to the limbic uh, lobe, and it is the basis for emotional experiences. So whatever emotional experiences are there, it is uh, due to the presence of this circuit. Okay. Later on, it was found that uh, not only this, there is something known as amygdala. Okay. So another neuroscientist by name Paul D. McLean. Okay. So he reconceptualized the pepe's proposal and coined the term limbic system okay in which he added amygdala septum okay and other structures so we will discuss about this limbic system in some other lecture right now we'll concentrate on the pepe's circuit okay what exactly is this pepe's circuit okay so let me show you this diagram the medial side of the brain so remember this pepe's circuit is a bilateral symmetrical on the medial side and the inferior side of the brain okay so if you can see this middle section of the brain i'll use a red color here to describe this circuit please see the structures which constitute this pepe's circuit so first is this one is the hippocampus okay hippocampus so it will start from hippocampus and again end in the hippocampus so the hippocampus from this the axons will go in a bundle of axons this structure it is called as fornix okay which i am highlighting right now with the red color so this bundle of axon fibers it is called as fornix so through fornix it will go to the hypothalamus where in the hypothalamus mammillary bodies okay if you remember mammillary bodies are the part of the hypothalamus okay so from the mammillary bodies through the mammillothalamic tract it will go to the anterior thalamic nuclei that is to the thalamus anterior thalamic nuclei okay and from the anterior thalamic nuclei it will go by the thalamocortical projection to the cingulate gyrus okay cingulate gyrus which i am just highlighting this gyrus this green color structure it is cingulate gyrus and from there the bundle of a tract of white fiber that is bundle of axons which is known as cingulum okay cingulum so it will ultimately it will end into para hippocampus gyrus para hippocampal gyrus and anterohinal cortex okay then finally it will come back to hippocampus so we can see this circuit okay so it starts from the hippocampus goes to the hypothalamus thalamus and cingulate gyrus and come back to the uh, hippocampus okay now let me show you one more diagram to make this point more clearly again i'll highlight this with the red color it will start with this hippocampus okay and this fibers will go through the fornix okay this bundle of fibers and it will end into mammillary body which is a part of hypothalamus then from the mammillothalamic fibers it will go to the anterior thalamic nuclei and it is later projected from that to the cingulate gyrus Okay, by the thalamocortical fibers and from that a bundle of white fibers that is called a cingulum it will come to the parahippocampal gyrus and the anterohinal cortex and finally from there to the hippocampus so this circuit it is known as pepe's circuit okay pepe's circuit now how to remember this complex circuit because many a times in the theory examination in the subject physiology it has uh, it has been asked for for as a short note or a short answer so there is a mnemonic match if you remember this word match you can remember this uh, pepe circuit okay so just uh, let me highlight the pepe circuit once again this is hippocampus okay it will start from hippocampus then from the hippocampus via fornix it will go to the hypothalamus that is in the mammillary body okay mammillary bodies of the hypothalamus then it will go to thalamus where in the thalamus anterior nucleus of the thalamus okay anterior nuclei of thalamus then from there it will go to the cingulate gyrus so you have to remember this 
uh, very important term so if you remember this and the mnemonic okay how to match remember this mnemonic match with respect to this i'll just uh, highlight you okay just remember this one hippocampus to mammillary bodies and from mammillary body to antithalamic nuclei from there to the cingulate gyrus and ultimately from the cingulate gyrus back to hippocampus okay so you can take the alphabet m from the mammillary bodies and a and t from the anterior thalamic nuclei okay m and a and t then c from cingulate gyrus and h from hippocampus okay so this is match m a t c h match m from mammillary body a t from the anterior nuclei of the thalamus and from the cingulate gyrus and c and hippocampus h okay hope you can remember this now also you should remember how they are connected okay you should know the structures which will connect this uh, uh, various um, parts of the pepe circuit okay so from the hippocampus you should remember fornix fornix to mammillary body from the mammillary body by the mammillothalamic tract mammillothalamic tract and from the uh, to the anterior nuclei of the thalamus from the thalamus by the thalamocortical fibers thalamocortical fibers to cingulate gyrus and from the cingulate gyrus by a white matter bundle of nerve fibers which is known as cingulum okay that cingulum will go to the para hippocampal gyrus okay para hippocampal gyrus and anterohinal cortex okay and from that it will go to the hippocampus okay but to remember remember this mnemonic match that is the ultimately this circuit is known as pepe circuit okay so pepe circuit earlier it was thought to be concerned with the uh, emotions okay later it was found that for emotion amygdala is the side okay now the other functions of this is it is involved in the episodic memory it is involved in the episodic memory also it is involved uh, in various diseases like uh, alzheimer's disease and parkinson's disease okay alzheimer's disease and parkinson's disease alzheimer's disease and because in this uh, disease the circuit neurons of the circuits are affected parkinson's disease okay and even in the senile dementia okay so this is all about the uh, pep circuit hope you understood the uh, concept here so if you liked our video please share the link with your friends